Hi, I'm Jack Buffington from RobotBrigade.com. This is another video in my series of videos about digital logic. And in this video, I'm picking up where I left off in my last video, where I showed state diagrams and state tables. And in this video, I'm going to show how to continue on from a state table and turn it into an actual working circuit. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to erase off the state diagram and the uh, little cheat sheet that I made for myself here. And what I need to do is for this circuit I'm going to implement it with D flip-flops. And so what I need to do is I need to get the inputs of my flip-flops which uh, I'll draw these down here. There's two flip-flops and uh, I'm going to call this one A and this is B and please don't confuse that with my state A and state B which I've erased off of here. Now I'm using them in a different way. Okay, these are my flip-flops. I'm going to have one output and one input. And I'm just going to run that into an inverter and have it down like that. So the goal is, is in order to create uh, the circuit that I described with this state diagram over here, or what that was here, uh, how do I connect all this together? And so what I'm going to do is this is my next state for A. And the beauty of a D flip-flop is whatever I put on its D input is uh, it becomes the output on the next uh, clock edge. And so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this column here and I'm going to make a Carnot map. Okay, and what I have here is my input. And this is my current state A and B. So, if my current state is 0, 0, and my input is 0, that corresponds to this cell here. And I'm making this for my A so that needs to have a zero put in there. If it's zero, zero, and one, which corresponds to this one, I need to have a zero here. If it's zero, one, and zero, that's here, I need to have a one. Zero, one, and one, which is here, I need to have a one. So you can see I'm just going down the line here uh, this one's a 1, that one's a 1, 0, 0. All right, so what we have is we have the product terms A bar B, so A plus, I'm going to, uh, the next state for A is going to be A B or, uh, or A bar B or A B bar which actually, through happy chance, is A exclusive or B. Okay, so now I am going to take and put an exclusive OR gate here. And I'm going to run Q from this one and Q from that one. And of course, I didn't draw it, but I have my clocks here. And hopefully I have enough room to actually implement all of my 
logic, which I have a feeling I'm not going to. So now let's do B. B is going to look like this. We, have, we still have in here, and this is my current state A and B. Okay, so A, B, and 0, that corresponds to this box. For B, I need a 1. 0, 0, 1, I need a 0. Uh, 0, 1, 0, I need a 0. 1, and this is, and this one is, all right, so this one isn't quite as neat as the other one, but we have, uh, this is B plus equals in bar and A. Or in bar, A bar, B bar, or, and I think I'll stick that down here because I might go off screen. We have in uh, A bar B. So, uh, you know, I'm just not going to implement all that. That's uh, too much for what I have room for here. But that's how you get that. And then to get your output, it's the exact same thing. So output, we're going to just create another Carnot map. All right, so in current state A and B. And so now here we have 1, 1, uh, 0, 0, 0, 1, and 1, 1. And in this case, looks like we have those three product terms. So A bar, B bar, or uh, A, B, or uh, in in A. So it's that simple. So we just run uh, A bar B bar, so that would be connecting to the Q bar of each of these, into an AND gate. A, B, the Q goes into an AND gate, and in and A connect those to an AND gate, and then tie all three of those AND gates into an OR and run that to my output here. So there you go. That is how you take a state table and turn it into a functional circuit. Uh, so hopefully you enjoyed this video or at least found it useful. Uh, if, you, uh, if you did, take a look at my other videos. I'm Jack Buffington for RobotBrigade.com.